Okay guys, it is as hot as hell in here, but it's a dry heat, so we're okay. Um, today, right here, right now, for you, we're going to talk about Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2016, and why one worked and the other didn't, okay? So, uh, let me explain to you what the original Ghostbusters means to me. It was one of those films from my childhood, like Back to the Future, Star Wars, um, Last Starfighter, um, the Star Trek films, I suppose, from that era when I was a kid and I was growing up. And Ghostbusters was a very big influence. I had toys, I had a book, it was a, like a magazine, with lots of pictures from the film in it and quotes and things like that. And I was always drawing Mr. You know, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and ghosts from it and Slimer. And I, you know, the Ghostbusters logo. And my mum even knit me a, a tank top with the Ghostbusters logo on it. I've still got it somewhere. Ghostbusters logo. And I think it was uh, Who You Gonna Call written on the back. Something like that. Uh, so yeah, Ghostbusters was very important to me. Um, Ghostbusters 2 was a bit less of a success, I admit. But then we got, last year we got Ghostbusters and, and I'm not going to go in and, I don't even care who the actors and actresses in it are because to me they ruined what is such a simple thing to make, Ghostbusters. Um, it really got me angry, I've, I, I didn't go to the cinema to see it because I knew it was going to be bad. Um, I saw it as an in-flight movie, okay? You may say to me, oh, but that doesn't give you justice. No, because you weren't sitting on the big screen. No, but I sat on that plane and I, I cringed all the way through it. I have watched it since. A friend of mine lent me the, the DVD of it and I, I, I tried so hard, but I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't like it. Um, the main reason, right, the original Ghostbusters, to me, Peter... Ray, Egon, Winston are kind of real people. They're a little bit caricature maybe, but we all know a guy like Peter that's a bit of a one with the ladies. and mm -hmm. We know a Ray who's the overexcited guy. We know the Egon the smart one that doesn't really mix with people. And I, I always think that Winston was thrown in there. I mean, he was supposed to be Eddie Murphy at one point, um, but I think he was thrown in there to be the everyman. I think Peter and, and Winston... I are in there because they're us. Yeah, because Peter Peter does a lot of things where, yeah, you know, I'm a doctor, I know what you're doing, but explain it to me. He's the exposition. He's the guy that asks the questions that we're thinking. Because the, the main three are scientists. And Peter should know it, really, but he doesn't because he's blagged it all the way through. So, yeah. And they are likeable characters and you go on this great journey with them. Uh, in the remake, they're horrible. They're just not likeable people yeah i i think they're stereotyping i think they are slightly sexist um the colored lady in it is i feel it's racist um i don't know about in america and other countries but in england we're not allowed to they're not allowed to show the tom and jerry cartoons anymore that had the maid in them because her voice is classed as racist. And that to me is how the lady talks in. I know she, I, I've seen her as herself and she doesn't talk like that. But I, I, I don't know. Sorry if I offend you. Sorry if you find that racist. But I just find her really racially an old fashioned character, really. Yeah. Um, none of them seem real. They all seem like overly done caricatures. Yeah, and it feels like it has to be funny. It's not Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters, I don't know, it's not a comedy comedy. It doesn't feel like it has to drop its trousers at the end of everything. The The humour in it is in the fact that these guys, perfect example, when they're in the, the lift and Egon says, I haven't tried the equipment, it's probably not, you know, the, the turn, the, the, the pack on and the, the other two, Edge off into con. I mean, that's 
that's kind of funny because it's realistic response. Um, the other one just... They're not even really ghosts in it. I don't, I don't understand what they are, but they're not ghosts. They don't bust any ghosts. They don't ever seem to actually do any ghost busting. I mean, you did feel like... I mean, I know we had the real Ghostbusters cartoon series and that always did feel like it was a continuation of the stories that we didn't see them do in films. Um, this, it was like, right, we're going to be Ghostbusters on Monday, Tuesday, we're still Ghostbusters, Wednesday, the world nearly comes to an end, and Friday, well, what are we going to do today? Because we cured it yesterday. It just seemed really, really lame. The characters were, like I say, unlikable. And, oh, Chris Hemsworth... If that isn't sexist, I mean, okay, make him dim, that would have been funny, but that dim? A guy like that would, would die just from stupidity. It's terrible. And Chris Hemsworth, I've I've liked you in Thor. See, that's it, I like him as Thor. He's quite good as Captain Kirk's dad, but the only other film I've ever seen him in... Oh, no, he's, it was, I suppose he was all right in Huntsman. Huntsman 2 was okay, but not because of him, because of other people. So maybe maybe Chris Hemsworth isn't the best. Maybe he just does Thor um, well. But yeah, I, I found that, too, as a guy, I found that slightly insulting. If they'd have done that with a woman, everybody would have been like, oh, that's sexist, that's a sexist attitude. Doing it with a man doesn't make it any better, yeah? Oh, uh, it's clever because it's a man. No, it's not, it's dumb. If if this is what this new generation are going to have to watch, then Ghostbusters will die. Yeah? Because there's a lot of kids out there that won't watch anything that's before 1990. Yeah? I, I talk to... I, I have a friend and his son, 22, and he's never seen Jaws. Um, well, it doesn't matter if you haven't seen it, but it just blows my mind that these films out there... That, and he goes to me, oh, I've seen Jaws. You know... It's, Jaws has been a big influence in my life as well. But yeah, Ghostbusters, it was just, it was terrible. Uh, I, I, my mate lent me it again the other day, because we were talking about it, and he says, watch it again before you do the video. Just make sure you, you dislike it that much. And I do. I really do. Melissa McCart McCarthy, McCartney, whatever your name, McCarthy, isn't it? Um, I've liked you in other films, but in that, you were just, you were just dumb. It was dumb. Did I mention it was dumb? Um, it, it was insulting to the original thing. I have heard rumours that Dan Aykroyd was very angry about it. And good on you, Dan. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd, you should go out there and you should take... If you own the rights to Ghostbusters, go take it off of whoever owns it now and put it in a box somewhere under your bed and keep it there because it needs to be protected. Yeah? If you're one of the millenniums and you haven't seen the original Ghostbusters, go now, get DVD, find it on Netflix. It'll be on there, Netflix. That's what's ruining the film industry, Netflix, and these streaming things. Because they don't feel like they have to make good films anymore. Because who cares whether it makes money or not, because it'll just be shoved on Netflix. Oh, now I'm getting on a rant on Netflix. So anyway, the original Ghostbusters, fantastic. Loved it. New Ghostbusters, ooh, yeah? I don't like talking bad about films. I don't like being mean, but I had to. I had to do this video just to cleanse my aura. I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. So, if by any strange chance you did enjoy Ghostbusters 2016, I'm looking at a few of you out there. You've all gone very quiet, particularly you at the back. Where is me? Yes, you. You've brought pickled onions. It's too warm for pickled onions. So, if you like this video, if you like my little rant, you want me to do more of these, please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, etc, etc. And I'm going now. I'm going to go sit in the fridge because I am sweating. I've got myself angsty. I'm just... Uh, so have a great night, a great evening. I hope wherever you are, you've got air conditioning because I've got a fan downstairs and it's, and it's on full blast and it's not working. 
So have a great night, a great day, a great evening, a great weekend or whatever you're on. And I shall see you all very soon. Bye.